ever wondered why people aren't as healthy as they used to be? Why is your generation facing many new health problems? Let's go back to the beginning. Ecological farming. Everything we used to put in our fields did not disturb the ecology. But nowadays, people have started using man-made chemicals. This causes the environment to get poisoned and everybody's health is at risk, including yours. But how did this start? How did we go from a healthy to a sick nation? It's because of three dangers that threaten our food security. Chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and genetically modified crops. Let's start with chemical fertilizers. Taxes paid by us go to the government. The government invests this to subsidize the chemical fertilizers. Did you know, in 2009, the government spent 98,000 crore rupees on subsidizing chemical fertilizers. We all know how important earthworms and other microorganisms are for the soil fertility. This mix of creatures is called soil biodiversity. They keep our soil healthy. When farmers use chemical fertilizers, they kill the biodiversity. Though these fertilizers provide food for the plants, they are artificially produced and are unhealthy for them. The chemical fertilizers also percolate and mix with the groundwater. When people drink this, it adversely affects their health and causes illnesses like cancer. Along with chemical fertilizers, farmers are also sold chemical pesticides. These pesticides kill not just the specific pest, but also many friendly organisms. Now, let's talk about genetically modified crops. GM crops are created by taking genes from one creature and inserting them into a plant. For example, the gene from a bacteria that produces toxins is inserted into the genes of a normal brinjal. Now the brinjal is genetically modified and starts producing its own toxins. These toxins make the brinjal a pesticide factory resistant to one kind of pest. If GM crops cross-pollinate with a non-modified plant, they can contaminate them as well. The genes of GM crops, if released into the fields, can destroy all natural varieties of crops. The GM crop producing companies engineer the seeds in a way that the crops don't produce another batch of usable seeds. The farmer has to buy seeds from these companies every season. This way, the farmer gets stuck into a vicious cycle. These companies also sell chemical pesticide. Many farmers don't realize, but these giant agrotech industries like Monsanto, Bayer, DuPont, Syngenta, and their Indian cronies like Maheko are making a profit at their cost. Toxic farming produces toxic food. As the farmer uses more fertilizers and pesticides, the amount of money he spends also increases, forcing him to take a loan from the bank. Eventually, he is unable to repay these loans. This lands him into a debt trap, responsible for an increase in farmers' suicides. <sighs> if only they followed ecological farming practices. Our traditional farmers, they are so happy. Instead of buying products from our money-hungry corporations, they follow natural and scientific methods to ensure that their fields are healthy. The good news is that India already has many farmers practicing methods of ecological farming. By working with nature, rather than toxic products to destroy it, we will be able to ensure our health and that of our environment along with food security.